How you guys doing today? My name is Danny Merritt. I'm the president and co-founder of Nine Line Apparel. Um, we are here today with uh, my good friend and my neighbor, uh, Larry Palmer. Um, Larry Palmer is a Vietnam veteran. You want to talk about what years you served in? Yeah, I, I went to Vietnam in uh, August of 1970, came back in August of 1971. Had approximately 35 two-man missions all over the country. Uh, I was a uh, member of combat control team, U.S. Air Force, uh, proud member of that. And I'm here with Danny, and we are doing a uh, T-shirt recognizing uh, veterans that are suffering from uh, the effects of Agent Orange. I think one of the reasons and one of the things that you guys are going to be able to learn today is there's it's, a, it's pretty much twofold. Nine Line Apparel is proud as can be to do a shirt to recognize our Vietnam veterans. We're also extremely pl proud to have, you know, a true blue Vietnam veteran here with us that helped inspire this t-shirt, all right? This t-shirt's gonna raise awareness for not only the Vietnam veterans and their service, but it's also gonna raise a awareness for Agent Orange. Now, Agent Orange is a tool that we used, or they used, you guys used, in Vietnam. And can you kind of explain what they used Agent Orange for? Agent Orange was a defoliant that was sprayed to uh, destroy uh, cover for uh, Vietnam, uh, Viet Cong and North Vietnamese. Uh, it was approximately five million acres sprayed, uh, which is about 12% of Vietnam, plus about 500,000 acres of uh, crops. And, um, you know, they sprayed around camps, uh, they sprayed in backpacks, out of boats, out of personnel carriers, and of course out of 123 aircraft in, in formation of threes and fours and fives. And they sprayed everybody. And it, it was, you know, if it was a camp that needed spraying, they sprayed. If people were in the field, they got sprayed. And uh, we drank the water, we were affected by uh, we were on airfields uh, a lot of the time, and some, you know, dirt or uh, clay airstrips, and the dust. You know, we inhaled the dust. We drank the water. Uh, you know, it's it's been a willful uh, ignorance by the VA to recognize a lot of things uh, that are happening with Vietnam veterans as far as their health, and it's taken a a struggle to get them to uh, recognize anything. How many, how many people would you say that you know personally that have been, you know, devastated by the effects of Agent Orange? I lost a good friend I was in Vietnam with, and he was also my roommate when I came back to uh, Pope, Pope Air Force Base at Fort Bragg. And he died about uh, eight years ago and suffered greatly with cancer. And I uh, have another dear friend that uh, saved my life. Um, in Vietnam that's uh, in fourth stage throat cancer. Uh, his family was affected by cancer also and it's proven that it can go down, it can go to the wife, it can go down even to the children. If the VA wanted to study this, Vietnam is devastated by birth defects and, and you know, it's not us, but their population also. Sure. and. Um, that affected that was sprayed in Korea. We have Korean veterans that are suffering. But I'd like to hear about your experience here in Savannah, Georgia with our VA in relation to Agent Orange and just in general maybe. Uh, I've found the VA here to be um, less than what it should be as far as I'm concerned. I, I felt like I, I did my job and they should do theirs and uh, I went above and beyond. And I went into the VA totally ignorant, and, and I was dumbfounded at, at the, uh, the, the things that they, they willfully neglect with us, you know. I'm, I'm fighting different issues there, and I've developed symptoms of Agent Orange. I have no feeling in my feet. Uh, either foot, I'm not a diabetic. I've also developed tremors. And um, I have other friends besides the two I mentioned that one is terrible Parkinson's disease, others have different things similar to me. Um, prostate cancer is, uh, you know, it's, it's devastating what it's done to the veterans and the VA has really dragged their feet on this. 
I think one of the things that I can take away from this and one of the things that Larry and myself have in common and is there's secondary effects from your time in service. There's secondary effects from your time in a combat zone that can and will come back to bite you later on in life. And it's how the VA and how our government takes care of us that, that makes all the difference. For instance, Larry's generation, it's Agent Orange in Vietnam. For our generation, it sounds like it, it could very possibly well be the burn pits in Iraq and Afghanistan, you know, burning just about everything that could possibly, you know, catch on fire. Everything from lithium batteries to uh, unexploded ordnance. Um, that could very well come back and bite us, you know, when, when, I, when I, if I'm lucky enough to, to, to be Larry's age. So it's important to highlight the differences and the similarities um, when it comes to military service. And I can't say enough like how amazing this is for an opportunity to have somebody like you here to shed some light. The second main reason that Nine Line Apparel is so proud to do this shirt for uh, Vietnam veterans is to highlight the, the significant difference in how we are treated uh, upon returning home. You know, myself, all my buddies, all my brothers and sisters in arms, we were rock stars when we came home. We were treated amazing. We, we felt like we had the full support of our family, our friends, our fellow service members, and the public back home. Our Vietnam veterans, like Larry here, have a different story to tell. And they did not get the recognition that they deserved. In fact, you know, you hear stories about people getting spit on when they came back from Vietnam. Larry is one of those people. And I'd kind of like for you guys to hear the difference in terms of what was it like when you came home from Vietnam? Uh, I came home, you didn't tell people you were a veteran. You know, uh, my family re really did never know what I did except I was a co uh, an air traffic controller. Um, it hadn't been about, but about eight or ten years till I started looking for my friends. And uh, thank God we're still alive, you know, the majority of us. And there's a handful now that we, we contact each other. And combat control is a pretty, pretty tight outfit. And, uh, you know, they kept a good record. And I poked my head up out of the sand and looked around. And uh, the same, same with other people. They're just like me. They came popping up. And uh, we've got a good rapport now. And... I went to my first reunion in 2010 and uh, saw, saw people I hadn't seen since Vietnam and uh, it was a good feeling. And uh, I think you guys coming home and the support that the population gave and our country supported y'all helped us to come out, come out of our shell. Awesome. And um, I, I really think that helped me, you know, seeing you guys because we were proud of y'all. You know, y'all did a tremendous job. I mean, it's unbelievable. And I think that helped us, you know. Um, you can hate a war, but don't hate the people that go. I mean, uh, we were doing our job. That's all we were doing. And um, had no reason to hate us. And uh, like I said, you guys are doing a phenomenal, did a phenomenal job and are doing a phenomenal job. And we are proud of y'all. And uh, I'm proud of you as a friend for doing this for, for us. Vietnam veterans and uh, sure the support you give veterans we're proud of you and Nine Line Apparel and for what y'all do for us and uh, we're we're more than happy to do it and I think that our nation is definitely coming around I w this can be on tape but just I went to a um, an NRA function the other night and they had all the veterans come up in front of uh, pretty much everybody that mm -hmm. was at the event and then they kind of went through the years game. Who served in the 40s? Who served in the 50s? Who served in the 60s and 70s, 80s, 90s? When it came to um, the Vietnam era, I can tell by the crowd and how hard they were clapping and cheering. Mm -hmm. They wanted to recognize. It, it, they want to make up for that. And I think that America is coming around and finally giving you guys the respect that you guys deserve from such a long time ago. So well, we're proud as hell we had nine lines to do. We had half thing. a million people on the ground at one time 
over there. You know, we had almost three million in country, 10 million in uniform during the Vietnam era. And, uh, you know, we got a lot to be proud of because we, we did a damn good job. And uh, I was proud to be a combat controller, a member of a, a, a very elite unit, and I'm, I'm very proud I was one of them. Awesome. The last thing I wanted to talk about and uh, is the, the, the specific organization that we're going to be donating a portion of the proceeds to. Combat Control Association is, uh, of course, combat control. And uh, for our, our, our guys that are, that are wounded or killed, um, they take care of their families. They send all their children through school, college, and it is uh, all special ops combat control that we take care of our own, which most special ops units do. Sure. And, and a lot of the, um, the different MOSs or whatever, you know, classifications that take care and raise money for their wounded or their, their families of the ones killed in action. Okay. And uh, that's where I would like it to go. My, sure. They were my people and still are. And, uh, they're a very, very elite unit. People don't, they don't want recognition. They're kind of uh, the... Uh, quiet professionals. The quiet professionals. And um, they're right there with the best of the best all over the world. And uh, I'm proud to have been one. And I'm proud of my guys. From all of us here at Nine Line Apparel, uh, we, really, we really appreciate your time. We appreciate you taking uh, your morning to come talk with us about such an important topic. So thank you from all of us here at Nightline Apparel. Well, we thank you very it. much. The least I can do for my generation of Vietnam veterans that uh, have been neglected. And thank you for taking time to recognize us and the problems we have had from the war.